You better think about what you're saying. You better think about the consequences of your actions. You better think, think, think about what's trying to do to me. Uh, in, in, in that sense, very controversial topic, uh, in, in especially in, in the United States, I'm quite sure all over the world. It's funny you ask me this question because I just wrote a book yeah. called Real Niggas, N I G G A S. It's a eight, it's a 600 page book on this very word. I dug deep into the word itself, and of course, the surface information is that the word nigger, N-I-G-G-E-R, is supposed to be a derivative of the Portuguese and Spanish negro. That's not true. Uh, I, I, and people cite it all the time, and it's, even some dictionaries try to go back to that, but it's not actually true. I don't have enough time to cite a 600-page book to you here, uh, but the main thing is that this word nigger N-I-G-G-E-R actually comes from the Latin Niger, or what is called Niger. The French still say Niger. It actually comes from Latin. Latin, from the Latin, we get Portuguese, Spanish, English. We get a lot of uh, even German words, even. Uh, um, uh, we get Dutch as well. Uh, some Dutch words uh, uh, come there, and Scandinavia as well. The, the idea is that when one country or one group invades another group, the kings and high people, the priests of the invaded culture, they use the same names to describe these people, but in derogatory terms. So the word nigger originally meant king. It comes from the word negus and nagas. Uh, uh, and, and negus and nagas meaning king of kings. Uh, there's also, just to go deeper with that, because even before Negus and Nagas, you get this word called NGA, which is a word called Nya, and it goes back to the, the to the uh, what is called the Osa, Osa, uh, the Hossa click language. And when 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 colonial powers were coming in and invading Africa, the priests that would, would have been called the Inkosi, um, the Negus, uh, the Naga. Um, uh, all uh, Nagari even, uh, uh, which gets its Indian uh, origination over there, the Deva Nagari um, uh, writing, they start calling these names derogatorily. There's nothing derogatory about the word nigger, negro, uh, nigger with an A, naga, uh, negroes, nothing derogatory about that. It's when colonial powers are saying when somebody when a when a racist is basically saying you know what it's like the word america american used to be written in england like the word nigger is today the word american in england uh in in the 1700s in England was written like, oh, a, a marginalized, lower class people. Hey. To, to be called an American uh, was to be, be degraded uh, uh, in that sense. And so many other titles as well, like Christian even as well. Um, to be called a Christian during Roman times was the same as being called nigger. It's when these groups gain power that the names used to degrade them becomes the names becomes the names to empower them or vice versa the name you once had for power once you're invaded they say like if somebody invaded america like when china invades america uh, so when, when china invades america with the help of russia uh when when, when that happens you could notice in about a hundred years somebody saying president and you're looking at him, president, and you say, you know, we're looking down on the word president. So in our time, to say president is something great. But if another country invades the United States, that word president becomes, oh, you the president. You just the president. And after a while, you say president becomes a racial epithet. It becomes something disrespectful to say. But it used to mean king. It used to mean ruler. It used to mean head of state. Well, this is the same thing. I broke it down over a 600-page book that really gets more in depth with language, linguistics, where words come from. Words are about meanings. 
but sounds are about intentions, right? It's something different. Sounds are intentions. And when you really want to get to the deeper part of a word, you got to get into the sound, the intent of the sound. What did nya mean? Nya. That, that's what the all, this is what, what negro is, all of it comes from, the word nya. And so, where does that come the from? The power. The, the sound, ah, oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Where does it come from? I needed, needed to clarify this thing for me. I will give you the book. Yeah. I'll give you a copy. I'll, I'll, I'll hit you up with.